Hello everyone, Trigger is the name, and welcome back to Corpse Party. Onijad! Onijad's missing! I need to find him! For my little sister. Uh, well, not my little sister, but for the little sister here in the game. Like, I have this guy who's also looking for his sister, so he is a technically an Onichan. But still, like, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not my Onichan. Someone else's Onichan. But we need to find him. We work together to find each other's sister brother kind of situation. I don't know. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Please. Uh, I'm so worried. Oh. Okay. I've been all over the freaking school trying to figure out like something to do and I guess lifting this thing. I don't know why. To go, <laughs> he's all impressed that I lift that. But what does that do, really? Is there something hidden here or something? Oh, there are a few sentences scribble on the surface of the desk. Be very careful, Curie. Be very careful around the green skulls scattered across all around the floor. They can kill you. Well, yeah, no duh. I ran into a, spirit a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them and all attendants join hands, then only then it's safe to cross the cursed Queen Malice. Whenever I see the sorrow of bodies of those who died here, I feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive these ordeals. Live! Live, I tell you! <laughs> I don't know. A pair of shoes with a faint, nearly imperceptible bluish glow catches your eye. Under the desk take them. Oh! Okay then, um, I got some shoes. Man, okay. Uh, you don't like it? Never thought a piano would not like me taking shoes. Do you not like I, I took your shoes? Hmm. Guess he didn't like the fact that I took shoes. Didn't know pianos had a thing for shoes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, can I step on these? Yep, I can. All right, cool. I can get this item. Yay! It's something sparkly. I'm pick it up. Pick it up. I will pick it up. And it is a crystal of unsealing. Hmm. What seems to be the problem, Yuka? I um really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that's super sad that she still hasn't gone to the bathroom. Oh, don't tell me you've been holding in all this time, have you? Uh huh. I oh, I might. Well, we best find you a place to relieve yourself then. Though I seem to recall our options being rather limited. Trust me, dude. We've been trying. We've been trying at this way too long. Um, permanent records. They're always fixed against wall. Like I don't know where else to go now. <laughs> Yay! I got the I got that thing, but I don't know what that does. Oh, oh, oh! Crystal of unsealing scattered. Was that a good thing or bad thing? Well, at least progression, right? There's a lot of things that seem to be really bad, but I have to do just the progression of the story. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me do really mean things, and I don't like it. Uh, it's no longer there. Seems unusable now. Will you... Oh wait, is that the bathroom? I'll be okay. Get to it, then. I'll be waiting for you right here. Thanks. Wait, so... Again, we're leaving her alone. At least it's better? Because now... Um? Oh. Kiyazumi, is that really you? Oh, hey! You're alive! Um, I didn't know these two exist at all. You two, man, Sephosaurus. Finally, someone else who isn't dead. God forsaken place that this is. <laughs> I'm just happy I finally got stoic content. <laughs>
was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you, outside this school, there's nothing but trees as far as I can see. Oh, did he actually climb over the fence and actually explore outside the trees? What if he did? If that's the case, then maybe that's why he's all tired because he's been running around over there all the time. I thought about braving the wind in this, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in the video games once you enter you can never leave oh so that's why so it so if he tries to go in there it just keeps him circling back out okay well okay at least someone tried i that's what i was thinking like why couldn't someone do it but at least they answered my question so what the hell is this place anyway dang it all there's actually honest to goodness ghosts in here you know no i think we may be stuck here oh good there's no way out of for any of us. Well, that sucks. Did, did, you, did you see Mitsuki in the next room? She's dead. Yeah, I saw. Oh, wait, was that her sister that died? Like, was... Was the girl on the ground that that guy was taking a picture of, was her... Was she the one that died? That's messed up, yo. Well, he's kind of cool. He's keeping his cool, but I think he's trying to get out for revenge. He might be just looking for the brother, for the little sister, and also probably for um, the children or the person who's murdering to get revenge. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what his reasonings are, but we'll find out. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number. Number. Certain number of dead bodies that persons expect to see within his lifetime. I would rather not see a single dead body. You know that that's my number zero. And I swear, in the last hour alone, I think I have far surpassed my quota. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just yesterday, Miss Misuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on her with three other women. Wow, that's frick. That's messed up, yo. Don't cheat. Not cool. Not cool. She's been really down at it all morning. I sent her a stupid text message during class to cheer her up. She seems mad about it during study hall. But then she sent me a thank you message the very next period. I think I was actually able to lift her spirits a little. Oh, that's cool. Well, at least we helped her out. That's cool. You know, always help them out. That's always good. Now, though, she's gone, killed by actual spirits. I guess. It was those children. Oh. What? Kazumi, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. I had a feeling I shouldn't have trusted him. Uh. Ah! Mother freak, did you see this coming? Oh my god. Look, he, he's out. He, he doesn't want to deal with it. It kicks him into the hole. He's on me. Wow. Well, that's one way to dispose of body. Within these walls, it doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Either way, you're dead. Wow. Well, um, probably should not stick around him that much. Where? Satoshi. Oh, Satoshi. What the frick? What happened? Where am I? Wait, so did... I thought he would just stay where he's at and then the world changes on its own. But it looks like, did he actually get kidnapped? Was I knocked down? I guess so. You got, you got, you got, where are you? Are you there? This is, that's what I want to say. Are you there? Means a female student tag still on. I guess I should connect a lot of these. And the note, I can't see inventory of incoming students. Um, so these are all the people that are coming to it. They host some picture, a photo of the principal. Over in bloody handprints, that's that's great, you know. 
Yeah, shoot. I need to get back to my little sister now. I hope I hope she's okay. Um is there a way I could save before I look at that paper because I'm thinking I might need that. I might not need to read that paper. I'm afraid that because I'm so far in, I don't want to like die and then have this all over. There's a bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be a digital video camera. Pick it up? I guess so. Fire the mini DV type. The label reads Key B key. Key B key. Features data. Huh. What? Key B key. Someone says sensei, but it says someone says key B key. Is key B key not a cool person? I, I'm afraid to read any of the things that's on the floor in a risk of, like, you know, reading the fifth memo. You know what I mean? I guess I don't even see a way out. Is there like a door somewhere? I guess there's that door, but it's blocked off. Yeah, I don't see a way out. I guess I'll just read this. Um, strange but true. Stories of the cult casing down at a hidden pass of the cursed school building. It really exists. By Kibiki. I wonder if that's that girl that like... He's like super famous online for being like a supernatural kind of person. I wonder. Sure, why not? Over the cursed several days, the several of the incidents occurs within the town in which young children disappear one after another. They were whereabouts. I know it's saying something, but we can't understand what it says. Well, let's do Japanese then. Cool. And if you're a Japanese person watching my videos, thank you. Really, anyone watching my videos, thank you very much. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through. A uh, through and through police reports. Uh, thorough. Through thorough police reports. But said findings were very much worst case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in the concealed room beneath the heavy host of elementary school, officially unused throughout the school's history. So they were able to find them. Uh, four missing children were thankfully still alive. Oh, wow. Shaking the fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from the demise from the police arrived. That's different. Um, capping off its nightmarish scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seems to be in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of blaze scissors. Ugh. Surviving elementary school students, after psychological counseling, gave in official testimonies figuring the scissor man as a abductor and murderer a staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of the minors as well as the desecration of the dead so they found him right before he did another spree of killing wow he was quickly taken to trial it was hit and instantly played spared from prison or death but we resulted of his why is it so scary right now? <laughs> is convulsionally immense to mental hospital. Interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school's principal's own son? Really? The son of the principal? So he must know something about this. Who was rightly renowned for his juvenile personality. Juvenile. Juvenile? However, due to his mental alignment of the unknown origin, he's begun losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavily Host. I don't know what he taught. Once his speech was all gone, he began searching for alternate places of employment, which accompanied him to, for several months prior to the crime. The results of the endeavor were not favorable, however, most of his days were spent struggling idly through the streets so i don't know what happened to him but he just became worse and worse with this illness mental illness well that's messed up as as the father you should take care of the son no matter what kind of condition he's in the reputation quickly degraded several months after his is the abandonment to the mental is to be sent to the mental hospital he managed to slip past a few nurses on duty and escape the the wow, the area. <clears throat> Merely upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room at Heavily Host Elementary, where he took his own life by hanging. Oh. The three children who he had killed were all Heavily Host Elementary students, but the but the one girl who was rescued from the grass mar of internal slumber was not. 
Following her close call, she and her family moved to other prefectures, far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sally, this was only the beginning for the misfortunes that were um, hereafter plagued the school, which had earned a, itself in many of the unsettling rumors. Over the next few years, Helen Me hosts would become a stage of countless instances of rape, molestation, and suicide. Yep! I understand why you want to get rid of the school after all these kind of stuff, but why would you make a school on top of that school? Like, why would you do that? Like, that just continues the cycle. It just, the school looks prettier now. With the student regulation and attendance dwindling at the alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down. And then a new school, but a 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as the erratic who adored his walls. Doors, furniture with the incumbent scrolls. Even later foreseen analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his scribbles. So he started like drawing all over the place. So I guess the principal also decided not to really like, have a good, not decided, but like he decided. So I guess the principal actually started going crazy too, which is kind of crazy for me to think because like, I guess this son got crazy and now he became crazy. I wonder what's going on between like, was that like something that maybe it was not in the control? Hmm. After the day after the school closures, date was finalized and the age went through himself from the roof. Also, he, this age, okay, so he threw himself, so he killed himself too. Broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the only history of this school is indeed awful, but there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as a puppeteer from the shadows. See, that's what I'm saying. wonder if someone else is actually doing that to these people, because they seemed fine at first, and then they started like, going crazy. Maintaining an actual tangible curse upon this property. And this key is all that lies with the solely survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and manipulations of the three and the mutilations of the three children no older than she is. The girl in the red dress, the one who got away. Hmm, so there's a girl in the red dress that did not die. Hmm, my investigation in the supernatural side of this horrifying, horrific. Horrific massacre is the only just the beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. I've been begin gathering data for the follow-up reports. Stay tuned. The next issue promise to uncover the more details of the morbid fascination story. According to the article, one girl survived the murders, but if this photograph this photograph is accurate, the, then it's the same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Yeah, I can't remember. Did we see a girl in the red dress? I think we did. Why would someone who hasn't killed here be hunting the school? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm, well, I guess there's one more thing I can read. I don't know. Ah! Frickin'! Frickin'! That! Oh, no! See, this is what I was worried about! This is what I was worried about! No! No, don't read it! I don't want to read it. At least they gave me a chance to not read it. Alright, well, I don't want to read that, but how do I get out of here now? Oh, there's a door right here. I'm dumb. Looks like I'm locked in. Oh, okay, fine. What? You worry so much for another one's well-being that is tor torment you to the core. An increase that affects the living and the dead alike. I have no idea. Oh, hello! And you are... Her eyes are so cloudy. She looks like a dead fish. That's the uh, that's the person who's been writing all the and the spirit of the girl who died here. So it doesn't seem like she's spirit like. But okay. Okay. I'm not really sure how to respond to that. <laughs> yeah, no. I was like, hello. <laughs> happiness, unhappiness are linked. Wherever one attempts to gain good fortune with little efforts, it's always a risk. What are you trying to say? You, your friends have trapped in the school because you perform a Sachiko ever after charm and messed it up. Sachiko, you mean the paper doll that we all did? How did we mess it up? One of you chanted the phrase too many times or too few. 
number of participants determine the number of rep with reputations that must be spoken. Oh man, a lot of talking today, a lot of reading. And somebody, that's like, that's a really like heart, like not heartening way to say that you guys are all gonna die here. Oh yeah, you guys just flubbed up. You said it exactly nine times, right? Let's go. We beg of you nine times. We have to say it one more time for every each person present. No more, no less. I um, will fail. Pretty sure it was me. I remember saying it nine times. So did someone else mess up? And is that why? No. That must be why. No, I'm not. I'm not going to start placing blame. <laughs> It is the, that person's fault. This is, wasn't anyone's fault. It may have been on purpose. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly and just didn't even bother to count. Wow, that would have been really bad. Or maybe a misjudged number of your group didn't want to f want the fun in to the end. To the end. And Noli fumbled the charm in a vain attempt to promote a do-over. Guess no. Even if it was on purpose, some of your friends have a tendency not to take things very seriously. No, it's not inconvenient for them to mess up. And just and just say, oh well, it's not like I'll ever be found out. Without even realizing that their actions would ultimately doom you all. <laughs> no one owns up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends have said it to you. I screwed up. I'm very sorry. Shut the hell up already. Eagle, my apologies. I pose I pose proposed far too many likely scenarios, it seems. Perhaps it's the nature of my job. I have a long since abandoned my writings after all. You do still have the scrap piece of paper, no? Be sure to hang on to that and hang on tight. Treat it like a memento. Memento of those who dear to you. So sorry to cut this short, but I'm in a bit of a hurry here. I seem to have gone separate with my little sister. There's still some other people I need to find too. Such concern for your friends, all the impulses that goes with it, spurring the heart into action, spurring the heart into action is truly a noble sentiment. As all charms are, or really are, you know, they represent one's regards of other people. They are likely Miss Chromos of the soul. Wherever it'll be love or hate, all you need is truly strong emotions to set them off. The stronger it is, the more powerful the charm. Splend him's looks? What? I, I'm burning. Wait, hold on. What are you? Vintage Trim's ball. What? It feels like my body's on fire. Stop this, please stop. Ball. To uh, what? You will not allow anyone to stand in our way. Those who do will suffer without mercy. Who the frick is doing this? Now go, go to the ones occupied your thoughts. So you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> Ah, this girl is kind of demented. What the frick is with her? Well... Did I just finish... Canon to Chapter 4? Okay then! Um, hold on. Okay, a lot of things just happened right there. And I'm pausing the music because the music is kind of loud. But frick, right? A lot of things just got dropped at the last minute. I was desperate to see some like story content and like that, but... Un in the end, I just got like dumpstered all this story right into my lap, and now I'm on to chapter four. So, oh my god! So, you know the full story of the of the schools and what happened. Um, we know there's something to do with the red child, the red dressed child, and she's pretty much involved with this somehow. I think she might be the one that's controlling all this. I don't know what her whole deal is. Um, and then also we know that the guy who is hanging out with our little sister is murdering people so 
Definitely need to uh, get that taken care of. <laughs> and then also we have uh, my guy who's literally like being burned and now find out the truth that someone messed up and flubbed up the charm making, which I kind of had a feeling and I still don't know who it could be. But I have a feeling that maybe it has something to do with a guy who's been taking pictures of the dead bodies all around the place. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys know more about this? And did I miss out things? I know I tried to do the, the little no thing. And I don't really know how to work it. But I don't know. Maybe you guys can figure that out. If you guys do, let me know in the comments below. I would actually like to appreciate it. Um, but other than that, um, we're going to get into chapter 5. And I think there's also chapter 6. So we are kind of drawing to an end of here. Um, if you guys want to see... The ending of this game as a stream. Like, I can stream the last two chapters for you guys, and you guys can join in on it with me. Um, that'd be great. That'd be cool to see you guys uh, join me and talk with me about it. But it's up to you guys. If you guys want to see me stream this game as the last part of the story, let me know by liking this video. Maybe if I get, like, 10 likes that'd be kind of cool right if i get 10 likes on this video i will stream it for you guys you show it off to your friends show it off to your family like just have 10 people like this video you know like if you guys want to see me do it i will totally do it but i only will do it if you guys want to see me do it i am going to be streaming the other let's plays of the other games i will be making for you guys and see how that goes see if you guys like it or not like the longer kind of like straight out kind of like content but we'll see how that goes for this I'll let you guys decide. Keep it like the small bits of light, uh, Let's Plays to like kind of equal it out as long run and nice and edited and nice, nice little flares. Or would you like to see a nice long stream of the game so you can watch it later or watch it with me and then be in on it with me at too? So what do you guys think? Stream Let's Plays. I'll have you guys decide. But until then, I hope you guys all have yourself a nice day. Bye. <laughs>